Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 134 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. Gotcha! <laughs> okay, so, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> I went back into the Endless Realm, and I did a little bit of exploring. Uh, I... <laughs> I was uh, hesitant to do more on camera because uh, I was having the issue with uh, <laughs> the lag. Uh, but when I came back in, I was able to uh, run around and, and it looked fine. It must have just been, I don't know, the fact that I hadn't restarted my server in a couple of days and the fact that it was new uh all this stuff was being generated <laughs> i think really is what it, i don't know it seems to be working fine now uh so um let's see i did some exploring over here i just did this one room uh it had a bunch of chests in it um and i got i got got a lot of stuff a little bit of I mean it wasn't like fantabulous stuff oh man I'm out of range I can't show you <laughs> so once we get back out I'll show you what I got it was it was a lot of little stuff it wasn't uh, it that might have been the room that I got all the keys in or I got the keys in here let's see I went over this way. Uh, there's like these little hallways. Like I used the keys on them, but when it was just this little tiny hallway, it didn't actually consume the key. So that was uh, that was kind of cool. And then I got this weird little hallway that had a entrance over here, and it's got this little it's got two more entrances over there. So. Um, I came into this, I guess, these little enchanted areas. They just had, like, a, there was a spawner here. I think it's just husk spawners. They weren't any mm -hmm. big deal, but they had a couple of, you know, chests in here. One over there. I haven't, like, checked the little corners to see if there's anything hidden. Um, but I did get all the way down to here, and this is where I started finding some demonite there was like this whole section in the corner that was filled with demonite stone and then a few demonite uh ore and i i mined the ore and i discovered this no <laughs> it takes a special dungeon seal um so i can't go through it yet uh so I do need to get uh, to find, I guess, the foreman uh, or the, the boss mob for it. Um, there were, uh, in that library, I, I pretty much cleaned it out. Uh, I removed all the bookshelves. Let me go see if I can find it. Uh, there were actually some hidden doorways in there. There was a lot of doorways. Which way was it? Hmm. Oh, it was this way. That's right. <laughs> I blocked it off. <laughs> I was like, I don't want any more of those. Um, so there were, like, I cleared away all of the bookshelves except for the ones in the middle. Um, and a couple of doorways were hidden. Maybe it wasn't on this level. Okay, maybe it was just this level. Yeah, like right here. Uh, no, right there. I thought it was the little fence post that, that marked them. Okay. Like, oh, there's one. <laughs> so it had bookshelves in front of it. There was more. Uh, one of them was uncovered and one of them was covered or covered up. Uh, so there's a couple more 
doorways. This thing had blood spilling out of it. And right here was a demonite ore. So I'm like, yeah, look at this. <laughs> I don't have to make an enchanting room now. Look, I got it. Ah, so I think I'm going to like, I'm going to get this because uh, I do need it. I don't really need the bookshelves, I guess, because I could just use the Britannia pylons. Uh, but honestly, I have more books uh, than I know what to do with now because I cleared away all those books. Um, yeah, I have a significant amount of books. Uh, do I get back out of here? Um... There it is. Woo! Uh, so that was good fun. Um, I, I counted up like all the demonite that I need because you have to have uh, four demonite blocks. Pardon me for um, for the tier five altar. They changed. The tier 5 altar used to take beacons. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> it used to take beacons and now it takes demonite blocks. And that is how you get the demonite blocks by exploring the endless realm. Uh, okay, so now we have it. Uh, I did get a few little things. I got 43 raw demonite. We need 45. So I'm a couple short. I can finish the tier 5 altar, but I won't be able to get the last demonite block I need for the tier 5 orb. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let's see, I got iron fragments, gold fragments, copper fragments, uh, coal sand, some synthetic upgrade points for armor. Um, I got a few more tau fruits and some saturated tau. These in here are the ones that I put in there. Uh, sulfur, iron, I got some demon will crystals, uh, gold sand. These I think you can use uh, with blood magic. They're smelting system. So if you look at these, where is it? Um, So you can like get the sand and smelt it like normal ore. Uh, but in order to get that, you have to take iron and use cutting fluid and you can basically double your ore. Uh, so that's pretty cool of being able to double your ore instead of, well, I guess because you're using the raw ore, you're not actually getting fortune on it. So I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> um, yeah, especially since I already have like a processing center set up uh, for all the stuff. If this actually, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I could just put those in, in my smelter and smelt them up and get some more stuff. So look at this. Let me show you how many books. I have not made any books. Oh man, look at all those iron swords. I need to do something about that. What? Oh, I forgot. I threw all my stuff into, cause I don't have the, uh, I don't have the thing that allows me to access my system in other dimensions. Uh, so when I was in there, I was throwing everything into my ender bag and I don't have this. I need to get this ender bag changed to uh, my system because I think what happened was when I put everything in there, all my books went over to here book book there we go yeah look at that two thousand books um they just got sent to the wrong place is all 
Um, doot. I don't want to put it back in there. <laughs> no. Okay. There we go. Now we have it. I have all the books I could ever want. Um, so I can set up an enchanting system. Um, I'm thinking I might just do it up here at the tippity top. At the tippity tippity top. I don't know though, because I, I would have to... It's kind of small and I would have to put the enchanting table right in the middle. So I don't think that's going to work. It has to be a little bit bigger. Like this one would be okay. This one would be okay because I could put it like that. And get book, book eggs. Aha. Eh. So you can get. Oh. What? Where did it go? Huh. Uh, you can get 15 bookshelves around it by doing five on each side of three, leaving one open. Boop. And there you have it <laughs> an enchanting system. What did I need enchanted after all? Oh, my shield, I think. I think you can enchant this shield. Although I don't have enough. Maybe you can't. Is it just... Um, I don't really have anything that I know can be enchanted. Oh, this one... So I guess you can't, because this one's showing it in a chant, and you can't see the shield. I guess if I were to put a book in there, maybe you could do that. I guess I could have swore you could you could put enchantments on shields. Um, there's supposed to be a shield enchant, um, like bulwark or something shieldish like that. <laughs> so anyway i will look into that and see if i can figure it out going up um i've just been hanging out over here uh trying to fill out the tier five with some runes and i added some more capacity runes and I was going to put those on the tier five, but I was like, man, I really could use that right now uh, because I I was capping. It. It's looking for 23,000 blood in my altar and I could only have like, what, 26,000. So when it would dip below 23,000 and I would hit my uh, dagger, it was only giving me like... 3,000 life points, so the rest of it was being wasted. Uh, so, yeah, I, I went ahead and moved the four runes of capacity to this tier so that I could go ahead and get the boost. So now we got 34,000. So that's enough for when it's looking for the 23,000 that I have an extra little bit over that to do the little ones uh, so it can do... You know, five or six of the blank slates and get a couple of reinforced slates to boot. Uh, because I was having a problem, uh, instead of it like clearing out all the blood in the pool, after it hits under 23,000, it just stops uh, because it's looking to make the demonic slates. Uh, so I, I just wasn't able to stand over here and get all this stuff done. Uh, so that's what I've been doing today. <laughs> so I've just been kind of chilling out over here, making runes. Uh, I had, did have to make a lot of blank runes to get these uh, runes self-sacrifice, which used up a lot of the, mm -hmm. the blank slates and uh, the reinforced slates. Uh, 
And I'm waiting for it to finish up the reinforced slate so it can start making the imbued slate so I can make four more of those uh, capacity uh, runes. These, the runes of capacity. Um, it's been a while <laughs> since I played Blood Magic. I mean, I played with Blood Magic in Ocean Block, but I... I did the other type of altar. I did the mob killing altar, not the self sacrifice altar. So um, you kind of want uh, different different runes for them because of the way the self sacrifice is made. And if you use your uh, incense altar, you get these really big hits. So you really want to go for, or I really want to go for a bigger capacity so that when I do my hit, the it's not getting wasted and it's storing it all in there. So now I can do that. <laughs> I can, when it's down at 23 and I hit it, instead of it only giving me 3,000, it's now giving me, you know, up to 11,000 uh, which is making a huge difference because then it can make more slates until it drops down under 23 again <clears throat> uh, so yeah it's it's getting there <laughs> it's almost there um i was looking into making oils um because i no, I, I, I really dislike Will. I mean, I don't have anything personal against it. I just don't want to have to go and uh, just kill mobs for hours to get Will. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it's just not, I don't know, it's not that much fun to sit there at a mob spawner and go whack whack. I guess I could try to automate it somehow. Uh, with the sword maybe i could uh, i don't know maybe i could like automate the sword with some type of auto clicker to automatically get will but i don't know how that works because you have to have this this to them on you or would it just drop and then it would be like the raw will. Like I have, uh, I did get uh, some chunks of raw will, the demon will, like this, um, from the chest that I looted, along with the, the will crystals. Got a couple of them. Some destructive and some just plain demon will. Oh, and I got a vengeful will. Uh, so, I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> we gotta smelt up some of this stuff uh, to make the demonite ingots. And then you take nine of those to get a demonite block. Uh, so I guess I could take this. Uh... No, no, that's not it. That's what, it, that's what we need. Nope. <laughs> 36. We need 36 of those guys. Um, it. I want to get this done today, but um, I'm not sure if if um, uh, all my things are gonna happen. So I can just come over here and throw this guy, and that will get it done. Lickety split. Still need to get, <laughs> I still need to get a teleporter over there. I mean, seriously. I guess I could put it like over here. Now, let's see. Uh, B, no. Why did I do B? <laughs> That's for my bag. So, let's just see. Oh, I can, I, 
I automated everything. Awesome. Go. Um, I know I have power over here, but I don't really want. I guess I could put it right there. That would be okay. Yeah, and then we could call this. Oh, there we go. Uh, so this is what I've been doing <laughs> running over here. Um, I figure once I get to the tier five altar. I might start looking into making maybe the, oh, I need that dirt. Because I took a block out. Yeah. Um, I just want to, um, also apologize for not being very consistent with my uh, uploads. I, I have been having um, some issues. Um, <laughs> it's not very easy to talk about. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> It's presenting me with some difficulties, um, and uh, yeah, it's very challenging, to say the least. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I am trying, I am trying, so hopefully you understand. Um, Yeah, um, awkward silence. <laughs> um, I really wanted to start the will, but I kind of I have this most of the way done. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's almost done. There we go. Now it should start doing the imbued slates. Huzzah. Uh, and each imbued slate is a rune of capacity. So, um, yes. Um, I also need, I think I might let it make the four, four more runes. It's been so long since I've done this. I remember that there used to be some sort of cap on the runes of capacity. Um, I don't know, maybe that was only when it was like tier two, uh, it's, it seems to have been working just fine. Uh, it, it's literally adding 20% per, um, even the four that I added, they all add up to 20%. Um, but I remember there was some type of limit to the amount of runes of capacity that you could have before um but i don't know i've been looking in the book to to figure out exactly how many runes of capacity i could have and the book doesn't it doesn't say it doesn't say anything about it uh, or anything uh these are the the so rune of capacity and then you have the reinforced rune of capacity oh so i can take these once i get my archmage blood orb and i can combine them with netherite scrap and intricate hellforged parts yeah these parts are currently beyond your crafting capabilities okay um so how do you make these uh shift click for recipe um it it didn't tell me the recipe i 
guess you have to like open it up. No, intricate whole board sparks. But that would be nice to double the capacity. Heck yeah. Um So you can break them down again if you change your mind. You can put them in, what is this, the alchemical reaction chamber with some sanguine reverters and get your stuff back, except for the demonic slates. You do not get the demonic slates back. So yeah, I've been trying to look for uh the cap for that and I can't, haven't been able to find it so I'm just gonna make some more uh, that's the plan anyway so oh we got two runes uh, I had to break this uh, I, I broke the cable underneath it because it wasn't seeing into the chest again uh, and I replaced it nothing <laughs> So I had to wind up breaking this one and replacing that and putting all the stuff and things in there. I need to get... So it's, I don't know, it's like every time I log in, I have to reset it. But that's okay because at least I can reset it. At least it, it works <laughs> after I do that. Um, yeah, because that would suck not being able to see into the chest. Awesome, got three. I need one more, and then I want to make the other four capacity rooms. And then I think I only need like eight of the other. Rooms. So let's try and get our capacity rooms. Whoa, that didn't narrow it down. <gasps> It's all the way at the bottom. Oh no, I got the hiccups. Oh no, I need I need some more blank rooms. Oh man. Yeah, I heard him swigging on some potions. So that means it's nighttime. Let's get him going again. So I'm about to I wanted to make sure I got those four before I started uh, making the blank runes. So, boop, boop, and boop, boop. I already made sure I made uh, all the buckets, so they should just be ready. Oh, yes. Uh, so this should give us 80. Eighty percent. Eighty percent on top of the should be a, a total of a hundred and no three hundred and twenty percent. Three hundred and twenty percent. Uh once we get this completed which shouldn't be too long because i think all i need are those last oh that's right. got these um two right here and two over there so i need eight plus four more so i need 12. i need 12 more runes of self-sacrifice and i believe we should have everything go with that. So, sacrifice. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to need 12 more blank runes. Boop. Awesome. Oh boy. Then we get to make the demonite blocks. Boop. 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 Oh, I 
You didn't see that cobble under there, did you? It was hiding. Stone. It's all just bricks. Haha. Okay, so now we need our demon eye. Oh wait, it's called Hellforged. Hellforged. Yes. Oh. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> that wasn't dirt back there either. It's fine. Oh, there's not cobble there. Oh, this should be cool. We should have the tier 5 altar. Are you? Are you? It's tier 5 and we have 42,000 points in our bucket. Oh, and look at that. It, it filled it up. <laughs> Oh, it filled it up. It was only at 20 something and it maxed it out. That was great. Oh, that was so good. 42,000. Shazam. Uh, so before when I played Blood Magic, um, these runes were like the best you could get, um, except for the capacity runes. They had different ones. Um, they had the different ones, but they didn't have reinforced. Stuff. So this is going to be pretty cool getting to upgrade all these blocks and make it even more awesome. Although I have to get the ability to uh, make the Hellforged parts like um intricate hellforged parts they're currently beyond your oh it's a uh, alchemical reaction chamber that's what the arc stands for alchemical reaction chamber but why is it okay this is all just breaking them down to get to get it recovered how do you actually make it or is that not implemented yet? No, it's it, it won't show. I don't know. See, I could have I guess I could have put that raw demonite through the chemical reaction chamber with some type of cutting fluid to maybe get the extra two. Mm, I, I guess I should have done that with all of them and not just the seven. Um, because I did get some cutting fluid. I think I got one. <laughs> I got one. Oh, it has 256 uses though. Okay. Uh, so, what do I do? I put that in there. Do I put that there or that there? Do I put it there? Oh, I do. Okay. Let's see if we get two. Oh, look, we got two just then. So we only need one more time of getting two to have enough. Oh, that one didn't give us. <laughs> Come on, come on, big money, no whammy, and we got it. Yes. <laughs> so now I can go smelt those and we can get our last demonite block to make uh, the tier five blood orb. So that is cool. I'm glad I thought of that. I knew I got a cutting in there. Oh, we even got an extra two extra awesome awesome that was super cool uh, so i guess we're gonna have to beat bop over there 
to the underground base. Get these guys cooked up real quick. Oh yeah. So health ward. Oh snap. Um oh, how much blood does that take? Am I gonna be able to do this? 80,000, but we got 40,000 capacity, so we should be able to get this done. Um, let's get you out of there. <laughs> um, I may need to go spend a little time in my underground base uh, just to... Um, get charged up. It looks like my uh, portable teleporter is getting... Let's go ahead and toss him in so that it doesn't, <laughs> you know, uh, start another rune. And this is probably where some speed runes would come in, to come in handy. Uh, to, to help it do that craft a little bit faster. But at the same time, you don't want it to go too fast. Right? Right. What are we doing? 25. Like, there should be a significant jump. Can I do it like that? Oh, man, it still maxed it out. So I'm getting like over 20,000 or something. For one hit? I should be good with like one more hit or something. There we go. Woo! How you doing? It might go. We might need one more. Nope! Oh, snap, tier 5 altar and tier 5 blood ore. Shazam. That is great. <laughs> oh, why didn't you... There it goes. It's a little bit laggy. We did it! We got the tier 5 blood altar and the tier 5 archmage's blood orb today. <laughs> um, that's good times. Sweet. So I guess I'm going to end the episode here. I've gone over a little bit. I try to keep them at 30 minutes, but sometimes I just get to talking and I can't stop. So <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.